We begin tonight with tragedy for Detroit. The city's first police officer shot and killed in the line of duty since 2019. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Dave Llewellyn. Officer Lauren Courts was killed in what Chief James White is describing as an ambush. Courts and his partner were responding to a shots fired call when the suspect shot into their patrol car. Courts was hit in the neck. The chief says his officers did not even have a chance. Our Team 7 coverage begins now. Kimberly Craig just spoke to the court's family. Ross Jones has the calls for change going forward. But we begin with 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner live in the city's west side to walk us through this investigation. A tough task for this department, Jim. That's right, Dave and Carolyn. We're going to show you what happened out here on surveillance video in a minute. Chief White talking about a lot of things today, but including how they need help with the courts and lenient judges. He says their cops on the street make arrests for gun violence out on the streets. They get charges, but when the guys go into court, too many times lenient judges don't give them high bonds, don't keep them in jail pending charges and pending trials. They need to be locked up, the chief says. How many times did we stumble onto someone who should have been incarcerated that's out on the street committing another act? So, it, yeah, it has a, a tremendous impact. You know, I'm not, I'm not standing here reporting on a fist fight that keeps happening in, in and around our community. I'm, I'm reporting on double shootings, triple shootings, people in drive-bys. Look in the upper left corner, random gunshots going out of a second floor apartment window onto Joy Road on the west side. This is at 730 last night. Nine minutes later, police arrive. This could be the car of the officer killed. Inside it, it goes out of camera range. The police chief calling this an ambush. They had no chance. They had backup. They used their training and their tactics. And the murderer shot the window out of his apartment and immediately shot the officer while he was in the car. The chief calls Officer Lauren Courts, who died, a hero, and his partner in the car with him. Amanda Hudgens, also a five-year veteran, 34 years old, a hero. The gunman would be killed by other officers, but not until some tense life and death moments passing. He made a choice that many people in the same circumstance would say they would make, but it's the first time I've ever seen anyone make it. She made a decision to put her life not on the line. I think she just prepared to die. She braced herself to be shot in the back of the head or in the back while she administered first aid. Now, another note about this case, a 19-year-old gunman who was killed out here did have a case pending over in Macomb County. He allegedly shot into a crowd last month in East Point, but the prosecutor over there says he didn't issue those charges because they were waiting for physical evidence coming back from Michigan State Police and the crime lab. We're live on the West Side, Jim Kurtz, 7 Action News. So much emotion in this case, Jim. I mean, we could hear it in Chief White's voice, and then when you see the images of that young officer with his two young boys and thinking that even his dad was a police officer, just so emotional and so hard to take. Gut-wrenching indeed, you bet. Thank you so much, Jim, for walking us through all of that. I know it was tough.